In this episode, we're gonna start wiring up the teardrop camper. This is probably my favorite part. The first thing you wanna do, or the first thing I'm gonna be doing, is I wanna get an idea of what I wanna do. I don't wanna just start and have to redo stuff. So I've been like drawing on the wall, kinda of where I wanna put my fuse box, um, kinda of what I wanna have each light switch do, drawing lines and where I need to cut the insulation and put, run the wiring. I'm gonna to try to avoid putting any wiring on this wall. I'm gonna to try to do it all on one wall and then that way my fuse box can be on this wall and it'll be underneath in the counter. It might not be mounted there, but I'm gonna take all my wires there so once I get my countertop in, I can decide where I wanna put my fuse box. So we're just gonna get the rough end wiring going. Also, before I start putting in the lights and stuff, I want to tape them up and test them out, see if I like the placement of them, see if it's bright enough, see if it's too bright. I'm gonna be covering up the windows and just putting two lights in to see if I need two or if I need four. Same thing with the door, the galley. I want to be putting lights and test fitting them. I'll get power into here and I got to run the tail lights and stuff. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but it's got to be done. The power wire is going to run along the bottom here on the inside. And then I'm going to drill down and come out the bottom. And then drill in the bottom of this box here, this tongue box. And then I want to mount my battery in this box. So that way, if I want to put two batteries in here at some point, I can. And that way... It's out of the way, not inside the camper, and I'll put a fuse and stuff up here. I also have a solar panel that's not here right now. It's going to go on the roof. i got to get the access points for it, bring the wires from the panel down. Somewhere I haven't figured out where I'm going to do that, and I'll have the charge controller right beside the fuse box as well. There's a water pump, and I have a TV and a little media player box that's going to be mounted in there. But none of that really has to be mapped out because I haven't got the countertop or the, any of the cabinets in. Once I start building that, it'll have its own wiring that runs through and then it will meet into the fuse box here. So I don't have to worry about that yet. So let's get started, I guess. So yesterday I worked a little bit. I didn't record a whole lot of anything. Just had a friend come over and help me out with some stuff. But I want to get you caught up on where I'm at. So I have the 12 volt wiring from the battery, which the battery is going to be in the front box. But I have it running back through here to my fuse box. The fuse box is going to go somewhere in this area. I'm just going to keep all my wires long until I really know where I'm going. I also went ahead and drilled in the shore power hookup, which all this is is a... Uh, like one foot extension cord that has a nice mount on the outside. So that's what I'll use to like trinkle charge the battery and stuff. I'll hook up to the battery terminals there. But I have all the little holes drilling through the wall going back into, into the floor, which they go down and then they come out the bottom of the camper. Um, I'm gonna waterproof this I'll probably have a different part where I show where how I do that. Um, but those are going to come out of, or through the frame, and then into this tongue box. In the tongue box, this is where my battery will be placed. So that's really that's the only thing that's going to be hooked up there. Also, I have the trailer lights. Um, these are also going to go into the tongue box. I'm going to get one of those boxes. Uh, or it might not go into the tongue box, but I'm going to get one of those little boxes for the seven pin connector. I'll put one of them up on the screen. But I want to have a seven pin connector for this even though I'm not going to be using brakes or anything like that. I just like the the look of the seven pin connector. Oh, also, it's up on the wheels. A friend came over, we put it up on the wheels. We wanted to do that just to see what it looks like. But uh It is really high in the air, so I've been having this little step stool. But I've went through, let me get up here on top. And the tires make it easy to stand up on. But I've went through and done a lot of the pre-wiring. I have the lights 
drilled in and have the holes in it for that. I've ran the wire, just roughed in. The fan wire is roughed in. Um, just dangling in there. I have the porch light, and I have two of them. One's gonna go on this side, one's on that side. And then the light shines out onto the ground uh, so you can kind of see what you're doing at night. Um, but all the wires run into here. And then this goes down to the light switch. So, so there's gonna be three circuits um, up here. Uh, one is the fan, so you can turn it off from the, the wall outlet without having to touch the ceiling. The other circuit is the two lights. And then the third circuit is the two porch lights. So those are gonna be all connected together and ran down through here. We also are gonna have the solar panel, which that's gonna be its own little section. And I have a little roof access cap for that. I gotta put on. But just for now, I have all this wiring hooked up. I'm going to hot glue these wires kind of in place just to kind of keep them out of the keep them in place while I put the insulation and stuff in. But uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing today is just kind of cleaning up the wiring and getting it going. I just kind of wanted to get you caught up of where I was at. I've already drilled a hole for the solar panel cables to go down the wall, but we'll get there. As far as lights in the galley, I have an idea to use some split loom and to have it like go into the wall here, then come up and flex up into here. And I want to have four lights, one there, 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 and there. And they're all they're gonna be kind of like they're gonna be flush them out, but they're gonna be swivel, so you can shine them down. Then I want to put two more, one there and one there, to kind of light up the outer area, so you can kind of swivel down the ground. I just want it to be kind of bright back here. Last thing I want is it to be not bright. Um, those are going to be on a switch. And actually, most people, what they do is they have gas struts for their galley. But I found some linear actuators on Amazon for pretty cheap. I'm going to try linear actuators. So that way I can just push a button and the galley door opens. I don't know if that's going to work out completely or not. But we're going to try it out. Also, I have tail lights. I have two of them. I thought about getting four, but... I didn't really see the point. Um, I don't know if I should mount them sideways like this or vertically or at an angle. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which way you think I should mount these taillights. I'm going to mount them for a little while. But those will go in the back door there. So that's another thing that's going to have to run up that little piece of split loom. But I guess that's enough of me uh, rambling on. Let's get working. I want to at least get the wiring all straightened up and hooked in. update I have the lights all wired up everything's all pretty much wired up I have all the uh, wires kind of just dabbed up with some glue real ugly looking just to hold them temporarily to keep them from spaghetti all around while I put the insulation in I'll do a whole wiring diagram for all the components on this um, but this right here has both lights wired up on a circuit the fan circuits in there 
the two circuits going for the outside lights are in and there was an, actually another circuit that I was talking about or I was thinking about I forgot to say earlier I have two wires here that are just gonna get constant 12 volt power they're up by like where the pillows would be and those are gonna be little reading lights that also have a USB cable or USB charger in them that will allow you to charge your phone in these spots I forgot about that earlier so I went ahead and ran that through so that's just another tip while you're doing this think about what you're gonna be needing so you don't forget because it's a lot easier to run a wire now than it is later. I have all my wires coming down to my switch. I have them all labeled on what goes where. I haven't wired up the switch yet. Um, I'm probably not going to do that until I get the uh, the inner walls in. But I might. I want to put little connectors on there so I might do that now. Or before I put the walls in. I don't know. But I have all that coming down and like I said earlier all my wires are ending right here. I don't have them from the switch here yet but I'll get to that but I just figured I'd give you a little update I think I want to get the solar panel out and see about where I want to put it on the roof and get the wires ran for it next so let's go grab the solar panel cue the music we got the solar panel up there it's just sitting there, but let's run the wires to it. Alright, so here's the charge controller for the solar panel. Is it not focusing? Oh god, how long has that been in manual focus? Okay, well here's the charge controller. Um, it's a very simple, I think it's called PPW, pulse width, mod, PPM, pulse width, mod, PWM, pulse width modulation charger. It is the most basic three dollar charger you can get off Amazon I think it was like literally like nine dollars or something um, the links in the description it doesn't need to be something super fancy I might upgrade this in the future depending on uh, what I do with the solar panels I've thought about trying to run an air conditioner off of solar panels um, that's gonna be interesting so I might upgrade that so stick around for that but that's gonna be a future mod but that's very simple how these wire up this goes to your battery I'm going to get a fuse to put on inside this, but this right here will, is going to be mounted with my fuse box. And then the positive of this is going to go to the positive of the battery terminal there. Negative on the negative battery terminal there. And then these wires right here go up to your solar panel, which is on the roof. So I'm about to put the roof on. I have a friend coming over to help me do that. So I'm going to hurry up and run these solar cables up there before I put the roof on. On the roof... I have the solar panel. The solar panel is here. Gets held up with these little brackets. And there's one of these that I want to have all my wires coming out through. So that's going to sit up here on the roof. And I'm actually going to have it underneath. The solar panel has, has room underneath of it. And these brackets lift it up off of the surface a little bit. So I've already measured and it's going to be fine. I want to put the solar panel about right here. So, in order to do that, I'm going to put the wire thing about right here, but underneath the panel, obviously. So, I need to run my solar panel cables up through this hole here, around, and then just have them here so I can drill a hole in the roof and pull them up through. So, let's get the routing. The wires ran from there, up there, and through there. Is this the finished product? She's finished. <laughs> I'm on a step stool. G 
Do 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 do